Hi there, my name is Chooks, and in this video, I'll be showing you some awesome Wakandan technology. Trust me, it's going to be big. I'll show you step by step how the Black Panther suit was built. Cool, right? But still, King T'Challa gives me access to their private GitHub repo. Together, we'll be building a simple speech recognition app. Something like Siri or Google Assistant that we can talk to and I can also talk back to us. We'll be able to ask it a few things and it will give us some responses. And we are going to do all this without any extra library or external API. It's going to be huge. So what we are going to learn today is going to add an extra source to your next web app. Okay, enough talk. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so here we already have um, the basic HTML setup. Um, we just have here a container which contains a paragraph. The paragraph is going to hold the text that we are going to be speaking to the browser. Uh, in my text editor, I have taken the liberty to already select the icon. Um, I've also selected the paragraph. Um, I created the paragraph rather, and then I selected the container and I've appended the paragraph to the container. I've also gone ahead to select the sound that we're going to be playing when we click the icon. So the web speech in the browser basically is possible courtesy of the web switch API. The web switch API helps us to integrate voice recognition into the browser. It has two major parts. The first part is the speech synthesis, which is responsible for the text to speech. And then we have the speech recognition, which is responsible for speech to text. So we are going to go ahead and get that running now. So we do window the speech recognition. Um, in, in Chrome, it is known as WebKit speech recognition, while in Firefox, it is known as just speech recognition. So what we are doing here is to ensure that whichever browser we are working on, we want it to be defaulted to Windows or speech recognition. Okay, that done, next thing we are going to instantiate our speech recognition, we'll call it recognition. So it's new speech recognition. This way we have our speech recognition instance in the variable called recognition. Next, we are going to set what is known as the interim result. We we'll set it to true. Now what the interim result does is it ensures that you and I can always get a response from the browser as we speak. If this is set to false, which is the default setting by the way, whenever we speak, we will not get any response from the browser maybe until we're done. So with that being done, we are going to add an event listener to our icon. Now what this will do is whenever we click the icon, it's going to play a sound and then it's going to run our speech recognition. So I'm going to grab the sound which I already have in a variable and I'm going to play it. So and I'm also going to call a dictate function, dictate function which I'm going to write next. So what the dictate function does really is just to start um, our speech recognition, start it and then listen for whatever it is we have to say. Uh, how do we start it? We start it by running the, calling the start method, which is recognition to start. That basically ensures that the browser is ready to hear you and I speak. Next, we'll add an event listener to our recognition. We could do it in two ways. The normal add event listener where you listen for a result, or you can just do recognition dot on result. Pretty much the same thing. So we're going to default this to a function and we'll pass in an event. And what the event does is that it contains everything that the browser thinks we have said. So let's just log it to the console and see what we have in it. Now I should add that before you can get this running, you should be running it via a server. I'm running mine via Light Server, which is an NPM package, easy to install. You can also do yours. You can use the web server that comes with Chrome. So let us see what happens next. So while it is loaded now, so you can see we hear the sound and anything I say will get an event. So you can see the event has popped up in the console and we are interested in the results. If you dig deeper, you will see that we have our transcript. So you can see what I said. And then we also have the confidence. What the confidence is pretty much is telling us how confident the browser is of this text that it is returning. And this is 0.77, which is pretty high. So now we are going to map through this so that we can get the text we want. What we'll do is we're going to save it to a variable. I'll call it speech to text. And we want it in an array because that is an, uh, it's a speech recognition event. So we're going to create an array from it, from event.result. So we're going to map through it 
we're going to get the first index. And then in that first index, we're going to also map again to get our transcript, which is the thing that contains this text that we actually want. So we'll return result dot transcript. Okay, it returns an, an array, as we will know, and then we have to use the array dot join to make it a string. So let us log that to the browser console and see what we get. Okay, so I'll click the icon now and say something. Hello world. Wow, so you see, we get our string hello world and our speech recognition is in full effect. So what we are going to do is we are going to insert it into the paragraph that is already on the page. So we take the speech that the browser gets and then insert it to a paragraph. So whatever we see now, we're going to see it on the browser page. Hello world. Okay, cool. Welcome to Life Hacks. So you can see the browser now hears what we say and we are getting it in speech. So you would notice that whatever I said last replaced what I said first. And to fix that, we have to check if the user is done speaking. Um, the, if it has something called is final, which checks if the user is done speaking. So if is final is true, means the person is done speaking, then what we want to do is basically create a new paragraph and then insert it to the page so that it puts it in a new text and not replace the one we already have. So let us try that out and see. Hello world. Welcome to Life Hack. So you see, now we have each text that we want on the page and we can go on and on. So without wasting more time, we're going to go and implement the speech synthesis, which would make the browser be able to speak to us. To do that, we are going to initialize it as always, or we'll put it in a variable called synth, uh, window.speech synthesis. So speech synthesis in this variable now would allow us to be able to do whatever I want with it. I'm going to go ahead and create a function called speak. Now what the function will do is whenever we want to say anything, we'll pretty much call it, and then anything we pass to it, the browser will say it. To make this work, we have to first create the text we want the browser to say. We'll save it in a variable called utter this, and then we call the new speech synthesis utterance, which is the part that makes the browser, receives what the browser is going to say. You are going to pass in a text. You say, this is awesome. And then we call our synth variable, and then we tell it to speak. So I'll call this inside our dictate function, and then we'll hear the browser say something to us. OK. Hello, world. This is awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So you can see, just in those few lines of code, our browser is now speaking to us. So we're going to go ahead and add a few cool features. I've already uh, taken the time to write out three simple functions here. What the first one does, it, it gets the time and returns it in a string. The second one gets a date, the current date, and returns it in a string. And the third one uh, hits a weather API, finds the weather of a particular location, then returns it. If it finds the weather in a string, or if it does not, it returns this text to let the user know it does not. So we are going to modify our speak function to take a, a, a function, and then whatever the function returns, that is what we are going to say. So how do we get this to work? Now we have to check to know that what the user says contains a few keywords. So if the user says, what is the time? We want to know that the user has said that. So we say, if the, the speech that the user says, if it contains or if it includes, what is the time? What we want to do is we want to call our speak function, and then we want to call get time. So I'll do that for the other two functions. So we we'll change this to what is the date, and we we'll change the function to get date, and then for the third one, what is the weather in? So hopefully the user says what is the weather in a location, and then we get that location, and then hit the API and fetch the result we need. So we need to pass in the speech here. Okay, so let's go test it out in the browser. What is the time? 
The time is 12.23 p.m. Okay, that worked. What is the date? Today is the 13th of March 2018. Awesome. Okay, let's find the weather somewhere. What is the weather in Lagos? Okay. The weather condition in Lagos is mostly full of broken clouds at a temperature of 32 degrees Celsius. Oh, 32 degrees Celsius, that's pretty hot. Let's see the weather somewhere else. What is the weather in Tokyo? The weather condition in Tokyo is mostly full of clear sky at a temperature of 13.28 degrees Celsius. 13.28 mm, degrees Celsius, that's a bit, a bit cool for me. So you can see now that we have um, our speech recognition working and we can get things our browser can say to us. Uh, I should add that the, the speech recognition also gives us about 66 different voices. So you can do that uh, in the console. Let's just check if we do speech synthesis .get voices. You see, it returns an array of 66 different voices in different languages. You have uh, US English, Italian, British English, Mexican, Spanish. So we can take any of this language, set it as our default language, and replace the boring male um, voice we are currently hearing. So that is pretty much it. You can see how awesome this is. And the possibilities of what we can build with this is quite limitless. So thank you for your time, and I hope to see what you get to build with this. Till next time.